what's up you guys if you're gonna be towing a trailer with your Nissan Murano you're gonna need trailer wiring it's required by the law so let's go ahead and break down that really easy install for you you'll need the tools seen here to complete this installation so we're gonna be working in the cargo area we're gonna need to access our tail light harnesses which are located underneath the storage trays on both sides so to gain access to that we're gonna pull up on our floor paneling and we're just gonna clip it up all right, now we're gonna remove the storage tray covers on both sides of our vehicle. Now we're gonna remove our storage tray on the driver's side. It's being held in by two bolts and we'll use a 10 millimeter socket to remove those. All right, now we're gonna repeat on the passenger side, but first we'll need to remove the spare tire equipment. We'll remove the two screws. And then we'll remove this tray. And then we'll remove the passenger side tray. Back on the driver's side, we're gonna go ahead and locate our vehicle's tail light harness. We're gonna go ahead and remove the tape using a utility knife. Then we're gonna go ahead and unplug it by pushing down on this tab. And then we're going to take our T connector with the yellow, brown, and red wire. And we're going to go ahead and plug it in to our vehicle's taillight harness. Now using the included self-tapping screw, we're going to go ahead and ground our white wire to this sheet metal right here. All right, now we're going to need to run our green T connector to the passenger side. We're going to stay behind these panels, so we're going to go underneath this sheet metal. We're going to repeat on the passenger side tail light harness, starting by cutting the tape. And we'll unplug it, and then we'll plug in our T connector. All right, now we're going to go ahead and hook up our fuse holder. So Nissan did a really good job, and they already have a wire ready for us right here. We're just going to go ahead and pull it out of the tape. And then we're gonna plug in our fuse holder. And with our fuse holder connected, we're gonna go ahead and take our included 10 amp fuse and put it in. Next, we're gonna need to check our towing fuse in the engine compartment. Right here on the driver's side is our fuse box. We'll go ahead and remove the cover. And at the bottom right here, we have our towing fuse location. Most Murano's will already have the 30 amp fuse in place. If your vehicle does not, our kit comes with a 10 amp fuse that you can put in there. Now that we have our wiring all powered up and in place, let's go ahead and show you where you can store your four flat harness. If you'd like, you can leave it in the cargo area inside the vehicle. You can just leave it right here with the spare tire and pull it out through the weather seal when you need to use it. Or you can bring it down underneath the vehicle towards the hitch and we'll go ahead and show you how you can do that. On the driver's side, there's a grommet and a vent. They're too small for our harness to fit through without cutting it. So to avoid cutting it, we're gonna get to a bigger grommet underneath our threshold panel. To remove our rear threshold panel, we're gonna need to remove these three push pins using a flathead screwdriver. Now we'll need to remove this tab right here. And we'll go ahead and pull up on our rear threshold. And it's held in by these clips right here. So that gives us access to this new grommet right here. So we'll go ahead and remove it. And then we'll go ahead and take our four flat harness and we'll push it down. All right, now we're gonna go ahead and reattach our grommet. But before we do that, we're gonna need to cut a slit in it. Now we're gonna take our four flat wire and we're gonna put it inside the slit. And then we'll put our grommet back into place. All right, now with everything in place, let's go ahead and put all of our panels back together.
right now let's show you where that four flat harness went it went right down behind this bumper if you reach up we can pull it out and pull it right next to our receiver now we're going to go ahead and secure our four flat harness using a four flat mounting bracket this does not come with the kit but you can pick it up at your closest u-haul center or at uhaul.com so we're going to line it up on our bumper and then we're going to go ahead and drill our first hole using a 3 16 drill bit we'll go ahead and put our bracket into place and secure it with the included nut and now we'll repeat on the second hole and now we'll tighten it using a 3 8 socket and we'll go ahead and put on our dust cover and put it into our bracket So that wraps up our install. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more information, you can visit your closest U-Haul Hitch Center or you can visit us online at uhaulhitches.com.